Okay, uh, this is my uh, fourth Da Vinci machine. This is taken from a drawing of something called a screw duplicator. The original Da Vinci arrangement, uh, how it was drawn, the pitch of the screw being formed would be uh, the opposite handedness of the ones that were the following screws. So I corrected that by putting uh, intermediate gears in between. These are uh, peg gears or lantern gears that I've made in previous uh, projects. And what I also had to do is develop a method of making these long uh, wood screws. I do that on a router table with a screw follower. But uh, Da Vinci actually came up with a design which uh, predates the screw forming lathe. Now because of the materials I'm using, not strong enough to actually cut a screw, so what I did to demonstrate the effect is I put a pencil in to uh, show that the threads are being uh, drawn. And if I had a cutter there instead of a pencil, it would uh, draw it. And the uh, operation is to uh, crank it. And when I crank it, kind of hard to do. All the wheels turn. As all the wheels turn, the uh, truck is moved along, the truck goes along, all shafts are rotating the same speed, so the uh, screw thread is being reproduced as I uh, move it along. This is Alan Fetterman and uh, I continue to explore the genius Leonardo da Vinci by uh, using commonly uh, available materials to uh, build uh, reproductions of da Vinci machines. And uh, the big innovation that I guess I'm using is I'm using Google SketchUp and I'm also using a epilogue laser cutter to uh, mass produce some of my uh, gears because it takes a long time if I was trying to do this by hand. Uh, it's hard to get the exact precision using uh, pine uh, dowels that you can buy at any hardware store. And uh, there you go.